Hi, everyone. I'm Saleha. And joining me from different parts of the world, and for some of them, crazy, crazy hours, like 3 o'clock in the morning, are Brinda Bose, Aswati Menon, Krista, Ekta Sharma, and Raka Mitra. Obviously, you can't see everyone because we've been having a lot of echoes and trying to figure out how to do this best. But you know what? We're just going to go with it. <laughs> uh, hello, ladies. How are you? Hi. Oh, we're hello. good. Hi. We are fine. We are fine. And absolutely delighted to be with the famous Saleha Singh. Oh, to my go. God. Famous. Molla Dol Moji Pogdanto said, there is no famous. Um, <laughs> So, I, I, Brinda, you are the brainchild behind this She series. So, um, let's tell uh, how you came up with it. And tell, before that, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, okay, so I'm Brinda Rika Bose. I live in Switzerland uh, for the last um, almost 18 years. And um, I work as a publications manager and I'm also an artist. And last year, I started my publishing house, um, Most Creative Publishers, which is which also has a history or a story. And she is the theme which kind of uh, inspired me to start it. So answering your question, Saleha, how we started this whole project. And uh, so in 2018, basically, I published my book of shops called Swiss Masala. And, um, you know, in Switzerland, we have a group of women. We discuss often what creative activities we can do. So I just came up with this idea that uh, if I can publish my own book, my own stories, what if we collect short stories from all over the world, you know, from Indian women, Indian, uh, Indian origin, um, that would be great. So I just reached out to some of my friends, and those friends reached out to other people. So the criteria that we were looking out for is not really, we don't have to be seasoned writers because we are all coming from different professions. We were looking at women who have a strong voice, whom we know personally, and we know that, you know, they have working in a, in a particular field, maybe the banking sector, or she's a scientist or a professor or um, an artist or a homemaker, you know, but they have some stories to tell and we wanted to hear those stories, um, not not really fiction per se. Or and um, also the fact that women often, you know, after they get married, they have families, their passion or their talents, they need a little bit of push at some point. And if they can do something collectively, nothing better than that. So we came up with the first book in 2019, which was she speaks Can't so we see it with yet, this yet. title she and i have to mention that you know this this has always been an entirely collaborative project so for example shimona she came up with the she name we have a group of over 20 women from around the world almost seven to nine times. the first book was edited by nine and nine so we really put in a lot of effort going through each and every story it's not just they submit and we publish the second book, for example, the She Celebrates, which was published last year. It uh, it has stories. It has 21 Indian festivals that we brought into this book. And um, Komalika and Noyana, they were the editors. And it's, we don't only have stories here. We also have recipes based on each and every festival and sketch. So it's, it's, it's really a fun project and a very creative project that we have here. And this book, which is coming out this year on um, International Women's Day, 8th of March, is again a collaboration of 22 women from nine countries. And um, it's again a fun project. This sounds so, so yeah. awesome. I like to collaborate literally across the seas with, yeah. you know? It, it must have been a really tough task, was it? Was it tough? Um, you said that uh, it's 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 uh, you know what you said, Saleha is is absolutely right. The whole project has been done virtually, so this is a classic example of a, a mission virtually accomplished. Uh, some of us have uh, not even met each other personally; it's only virtual meets and phone calls. So what you see, these books are a result of virtual coordination. So um, you know, it's it's. Uh, 
it's a beautiful thing we've learned and it's it's been a family together it's been a, a growing moment for all of us there's been great bonding there's been great learning and there's a huge process that goes in between uh, you know from the yeah you know from the beginning till the end there's a whole process of deciding on the theme deciding on uh, you know um, the story content uh there's a whole process would you like me to detail it or would you yes, like to yes if you want to yes yes well it goes like this so uh, as brinda said this is a collaborative project and uh, what happens is uh, we believe in total inclusivity okay so everyone unanimously decides on the theme and then once the theme is finalized for a book project then uh, we go about uh, creating deadlines for the submission of stories and then once that is done then there is the editorial process that begins uh, this year tista has been a part of it she will enlighten us more with the details uh, but after the editorial process is done there's review revision and then we get into the um, you know the publishing phase production publication and finally of course the promotion that happens with the book so that's the whole stages that we cover in each moment and then that's our baby in front of you how far we traveled imagine not being able not meeting anyone but doing yes. so many books virtually yes. i mean you know the collaboration the time difference the constant <clears throat> uh, you know communication oh my god it's oh yes and the, and, and, and and when only you a say, woman can do it. Only a woman can do it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, 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 and I think that's, it is so apt that you named the series "She." I mean, I'm just fascinated. You know, I've been going back and forth on your um, Facebook page and trying to read. And I was telling Tista because Tista and I talked a couple of weeks ago that I don't have a Kindle, and I'm so. I have been now telling her, I want the Kindle, I want the Kindle, I want the Kindle. So, yes, I'm going to, can one of you please send me the covers because uh, I obviously want to put it on my uh, social media pages. This is awesome. Sure. So, <laughs> sure uh, share sure. me something about yourself. You are obviously not a writer by profession, are you? I'm just asking. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, sorry, you were asking Tista? No, you're asking me. No, I'm not a. I'm not a writer by profession. I know only how to talk to students. <laughs> so I'm not, <laughs> talking is the first step. That's what I do. I I, just, I, um, I teach uh, college. I teach at a university. I live in Northern Virginia, not too far from uh, Washington. And um, as far as my writing is concerned, I mean, I would. I. I, I would say I would dabble. And uh, in my family. Um, you know, a kind of uh, every everybody kind of has a thing about writing. So when we were young, young, I remember we would go on holidays. Wherever we would go, we'd come back and and we would write about the holiday. I mean, I I, I don't know why we did it, but we just kind of you know what just memoirs or whatever. And my uh, dad, he was uh, he was in the he, he was in the army, so he spent a lot of time away from us. But he would pen these such beautiful letters, uh, so it so I guess it somehow it it became it was part of my family this thing about writing, and then I met these amazing women, and I had a platform for my writing. So all the scribbles and all the scrabbles and all the little pieces I wrote here and there suddenly had a platform, and it it has been such a marvelous journey. Awesome, awesome. In fact, in fact, I would like to add here. It's, yes. it's like, uh, you know, Brindarika is the thread on which all the beads are strung together. And I always keep saying that to everyone. What a lovely so way to on which wow. Yeah, I mean, we are all strung together by her, and each bead is important. Each bead yes. is contributing, and that's what makes it a beautiful necklace. And we're so proud of it. And if I may add each and every beat, it also become a string at one second, you know. <laughs> because, you know, you won't believe, Saleha, the way it works. Last year, we had a lot of challenging times. And uh, 
the moment if i'm not available ashwati takes over if ashwati is not available you know this takes over it's always been like that so we have really worked like sisters almost um, yes. It's, it's, yes it's an amazing uh, bond bonding that we have developed also over the years it's three years you know, i always believe women make the best managers because they manage their homes they manage their children they manage the outside world and come back and do it again and whoever said a man was better than a woman i think you guys have just busted yeah i mean you know everyone is busy raka ekta i mean they are really young children and uh, despite yeah. that you know ekta i've often seen that she's awake late in the night and she's you know trying to work for a book project and complete things so it's that kind of dedication is also there i mean unless you have that kind of feeling no one will give in their voluntary time you know so that feeling is there which is binding us you know and when Saleha, i uh, looked up the theme uh, for the international women's year 2021 so it's a un women uh, in leadership right so the theme is women in leadership yep um an equal uh, future in covid 19 times yep. that's the theme so and i was thinking that you know that completely uh, sinks in with all our book projects all the yes. stories that we are telling is exactly that good i can't wait to read it i have to buy that kindle or <laughs> because it's not available here so unless i get it from <laughs> hard copy it's not in amazon australia i have to go back and see but yes very excited i am yes <laughs> um so what are the stories about who is going to talk uh, is it ekta is it raka and i'll add sorry guys i mean this, i think these uh, guys uh, maybe i could go back stage these that uh, was the one of the editors this year so maybe she could uh, describe the stories a little bit i can go back stage and who who do i add to the stream um ekta you could take me out as well uh, okay put me in the back stage so that ekta and raka both can ekta and raka both can join Sorry ladies. Sorry, We are back. Ladies. We are back. Good morning. We are back. Good morning. So uh um, so we were uh, you, you asked us about the stories, correct? Okay, yeah. Sarah. So I'm yeah. going to tell you about uh, she reflects which is our rate latest um um volume and uh, in this book we have tried a hand at flash fiction. Okay. and uh, so <clears throat> brinda gave us i think uh, 2000 words was it ekta each author was given 2000 words and she said okay girls uh, ladies you have these 2000 word limit so you can produce if you want you can produce four uh, pieces of flash fiction two one it's up to you one it's up to you so uh, some of us uh, came up with three some of us came up with two so we made use of those words but and um and um the shortest one is i think about 200 words 200 words flash fiction yeah yeah it's a, it's and it's a it's a, a perfect example of flash fiction uh it's a story called uh, over bridge by shumona ghosh das so it's a it's a very very short one very very short one and the other thing that we attempted in this volume is that uh, you know we try to bring into the conversation uh the girl child of course okay starting with her journey from the from the womb so there is a story where you know the, the story written by brinda paul bhagirathi uh the the, the 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 protagonist is actually in the womb of the of the mother and she is like uh, she is narrating the story okay and then we also brought also in the voice in of voice senior of women okay women, women who are older who are, who are in their golden years, their golden years. Uh, so uh, uh, so ekta so, story the have is just story. just thinking about it the other day uh, it called the golden era uh, it features it features an older couple just an older couple and it's a beautiful love story and it's a beautiful love story Uh, so uh, in this uh, book so you will find book, stories, with stories with different themes flavors okay flavors okay 
uh, just not romance, uh, but not mystery, romance, but women mystery, that, you know, women being rather diabolical. Rather diabolical. Okay, women having fun, women, women, having women fun, going on adventure, going on adventure, loss, re redemption, loss, you name it, everything is, uh, everything you know, packed in here. Uh, you know, packed in here. Okay. So we're getting some echo oh, again. I have no idea what is happening, but I can hear you. So we'll just continue. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, um, so, uh, Ekta, tell us something about yourself and uh, where, where did you get your inspirations from? Yeah, uh, good morning, everyone. And um, my name is Ekta. And um, I'm a research scholar at uh, University in Queensland, the Sunshine State. And uh, after a full day of programming session, writing is my pocket of happiness. And um, I'm associated with the She series since the conception of its idea. And it's such a heartwarming journey to see it grow. And now we have three books, third one coming up very soon. And uh, talking about inspiration, I guess um, inspiration uh, about this book is in everything we see. There is no dearth of sources for a woman, I, I feel. And um, however, we should not leave that spark, that uh, which is key in moving ahead and grow. So, um, and we, as we can see, like we are all in a different time zones and uh, varied cultural brought ups. But as a family, we try to grow. So the common thread, I guess, uh, in all of us is that we have that spark. We understand the requirements, work on it. We offer the support whenever it's needed. We try to establish ourselves and expand ourselves as well. So with your medium, what we are trying to do is we are trying to um, grow. We like, And I feel like inspiration or interventions need to happen much earlier on. And I've seen women greatly improve because of all, all the encouragement and training. And well, everyone has the passion, but we need just that little push. So rather than 20 years planning for it, it's, it's better to just do it, have that motivation going on despite our circumstances, leaving that mindset that women are born to follow, they can lead also. In the so, 21st century, if we're still talking about women following, we are doing something very wrong. That's right. I, I, I get the question every time, how do you do that? How are you all managing 20 women? I feel and I, I get that question a lot from women itself. So somehow I feel everyone is talented. There is no dearth of talent in a woman. So it's just that we need to keep that spark going. We need to get a foot in the door. So with with all these videos, these should be a motivating and such an encouraging factor that, uh, you know, whatever talent we have, just keep it going. So, yeah. And we are all very talented. We are all very talented. You know, everyone one of us, everyone. has a special, special thing that we can share. Raka. That's right. Hi there. <laughs> Look, I think hello, I just want hello, to um, tell you, although we don't talk Sydney and Melbourne. We don't talk Sydney and Melbourne. So, well, no, I'm. I decided no, I'm not going to go into the Sydney and Sydney, Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane over here. Look, I mean, yeah, we're just going to talk about that, right? right. <laughs> so I'm a through and through Sydney girl. I uh, grew up in Sydney, and now I live in the Netherlands. Um, and I really miss the sun. So I'm super jealous of be it, be it Brisbane or be it Melbourne. It doesn't matter. I'm just jealous of Australia at the moment. Um, that's it. I wanted to um, actually um, extrapolate a little bit on what um, Ikla said there about you know women um, leaving now, and it's also um, I think. Should, classically, women, um, classically from, women um, from a very young um, age, we're, we're very, um, we just follow very, roles. You know, we, we have the role of a daughter and we play that. And then um, whether it's to please parents and then the role of a sister to, you know, to be there for our siblings. And then it goes on to like girlfriend, wife, mother. Um, we almost forget who we are. In, in each of those roles, we leave a little bit of ourselves out of it. And, um, and we trample that in order to become what the other person wants. 
and I think that's something that I've experienced the most probably in motherhood and I've I've got a two-year-old and so I'm, I'm fairly new to that journey but even if it's you know having that last piece of cake which my daughter's looking at I'll be like fine you have it I used to have it till oh. now but <laughs> it won't and, stop, Raka. If you think when she's 30 and you, she will not ask you for the last piece of cake. That's exactly right. You know, mm -hmm. right? Um, so basically, we're always doing that. And so through writing, it actually, um, I found, at least for me, it enabled me to not think about anyone else or anything else, get lost in my characters. Um, and, and even just, it's about me, it's my thoughts. Nobody else um, controls that. I take it in the direction I want to. Um, so that that's really, really fantastic about, um, and, and that's why women, I think that's why it's very important to enable women to have that voice and to say that um, you are more than just a wife. And, uh, you know, even if we have our own careers, because all of us do, and that's all the fantastic that's thing yes. about this group, we all have our careers and all. Um, and we all have the roles to play, but we also have um, ourselves and our lives outside that, which is which is pretty good, which is pretty fantastic, actually. Absolutely. So your story, where did you get the inspiration from? Um, well, actually, Australia. So one of my stories is about the stolen generations, and um, the main protagonist. So in many that people, is, sorry, Raka. Many people won't know, except for Ekta, you and me. Many uh, most of our viewers want to know about the stolen generation you were so yeah. in the dark history of australia um the aboriginal um people um you know basically uh australia does have a very racist um history and um i'd like to think as a country that we have moved forward from that but the stolen generations are a product of that basically um children were taken away from aboriginal families and um, put into white families in order to um in order to culture them, I guess, in order to make them more white. And um, and, and that is a very dark part of um, my Australian um, culture. And so, um, you know, my inspiration is very much from that. And um, so one of my stories is based around that. And the other one is um, an Iranian story. I can't really tell you where there is inspiration from that other than okay. imagination. I've never been to Iran, but I'd love to go. So. Don't we all? Hopefully someday we all will be, you know, we'll be able to travel and um, go but to on places. That note, Saleha, on that note, Saleha, thank you. You've got five women here with lipstick on at various times of the day during COVID times. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Except for me, I don't wear lipstick. I don't wear. <laughs> but yes, and and see, this is what we can do. I mean, uh, what it's like three o'clock where Ashwati is. And uh, again, you guys in Europe nearing midnight? Yeah, it's 11, it's 11.30 now. There you go. Tista, I don't know what time. So if anyone can do it, we can. <laughs> Tista can't hear you because... Uh, yeah, it's it's 5.30 here, 5.30 in the evening. So I'm, I'm the most uh, awake <laughs> of the lot. I should be at least. <laughs> this is... I mean, as I said, you know, if anyone can, it's only us women who can. Um, do you want to? Does someone want to tell me about the the latest book? When it is coming out? What is the name? Uh, what the stories are about? I'm sorry, we can only have four people at a time because of the. I echo. think so really I don't nice even get Brinda back in on this one. Yeah. All right, uh, Raka, can I remove you? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Brinda. You're back. You're on mute. You're on mute. Uh, okay. <laughs> Brinda, sorry. We Brinda's still on mute, so we have to tell her. I'm sending her messages, but I don't think she is. Uh, she's. Yeah, the we lost you she is. You were on mute. Sorry. <laughs> I was this talking about the love doing it. There is no script. <laughs> just okay, so I'm back. So I was just saying that um, any guesses after she speaks, she celebrates what could come next. Any guesses? We have. She reflects. Wow. Reflecting too much. 
No, I can, yes, it's reflecting too much, but I can, this is awesome. Oh. <laughs> so She Reflects is a collection of 43 fashion fictions, as Lisa explained, and um, we have 22 women writing from nine different countries, and it's wow. released on 8th of March. Um, and uh, yeah, Ashwati explained the process, how we did the entire thing from uh, starting from the concepts to the review, revision and everything. So we are really excited about it. The book is available in Amazon. It's available in Flipkart, in Barnes & Noble, in um, Apple and uh, various other um, ebook stores. And um, so, you know, uh, just grab your copy and uh, yeah, go through it, read it, enjoy it. <laughs> and, and and just at the right time, International Women's Day. Yes, absolutely. That's when we have always released our books. She speaks and she celebrates as well. This is awesome. <laughs> I, I can't wait to get my copy. I have to order today. I'm going to go and I looked it up on Amazon Australia. I didn't have it. So maybe I've got to try something else. Yeah, it's, um, it's back in Amazon uh, Australia now, but it, I think it takes a bit longer to get it delivered there. Maybe I can say more. Uh, the last, uh, 12 days the last, 12 days for me uh from right from the ordering to getting it on my doorstep 12 days, 12 days. for the hard copy but you can get the kindle with the the yes kindle is instant so yeah 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 are you are you getting it on amazon or Australia? because last week when i saw they didn't come up with it so no now it's available it is there, so you can start by uh, buying it, and then others will, will follow. I'll buy all three together because that's what I do. I don't believe in. I'll, maybe I'll wait till the eight and then buy all of them together. It's not fun buying one at a time. That's a wonderful platform. Uh, yes. So, yeah. Ladies, thank you so so much. I know it's like weird times. Um, thank you for joining me. It has been such a pleasure and i wish you guys uh, i think success that i don't want to be flippant but way more than that where and may your lipsticks shine bright all the <laughs> time and the smile thank you raka ashwati brinda ekta tista thank you so so much thank you very much thank you very much it's been a delight to be on your show thank you